Hi, my name is Lily. And I'm Sarah. And today I will be showing you guys how to achieve a Rita Hayworth vintage inspired hairstyle. I will start with the hair serum and I will apply it all over her hair. It's like maybe two pumps. And then I'm just gonna run it through her hair. So the next step is I'm going to be brushing out her hair to make sure I distribute the product, which is the serum that I just placed in her hair. And I am using Suavecita's new brush. I'm gonna get some Suavecita grooming spray. I'm just gonna spray it all over her hair. So now I'm going to be parting her hair. I like to do a side part. And then once I have that, I usually just twist it. And then I'm gonna use so I see the clips to kind of get it out of the way. But I'm going to section it off one more time. And I'm going to be using a three quarter inch curling iron. Um, I like to put hairspray on each row that I set, so. And I'm gonna pin it down with one of these clips. And you will do this throughout the whole head. <laughs> Okay, so I let it set for 30 minutes. Now I'm just gonna start taking out the pins. So I'm gonna section it off so I can tease the bottom part of it. Since Sarah has a lot of hair, I'm not gonna tease it that much, but if you don't have that much hair, you have thin hair, I suggest you do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna just spray it a little bit with hairspray. So once you start brushing it out, you will start to see the S of the curl. So I am putting pins where the little indention is at. So I'm gonna start to create the waves that aren't at the top part. And once you brush it out, you can kind of see where the indentation again is of the curl and where it kind of want to lands at. So if you're not sure, don't fight it. Just, just let the hair tell you what to do. <laughs> then I'm just gonna put a clip because from what it looks like, her hair just wants to naturally fall in that part. So if that happens, just stick a, a clip on it. Sometimes the curls get stuck together, so you might want to separate them and then brush it out if that works. 
sometimes they might be a little bit stubborn depending on what you've put in your hair. Okay, and I'm going to brush it out, but before I do, I'm going to separate the curl. And then I'm actually going to twist it and then tuck it. Depending how thick or thin your hair is, um, you might have to use a couple. For her, she likes to use 15. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And once that's secured, then we're going to start shaping the side of the curl. That way it kind of blends in with the rest of the waves. If you really want your hairstyle to stay, make sure you use a lot of hairspray. So if you're in a hurry and you're ready to go somewhere, the fastest way to dry it is with the blow dryer. So I set it in the highest setting. Well, it has to be hot, but then the lowest setting. And then spray it and then hold it because you're sculpting it. So you want the curls to be nice and bouncy. Here you go, Miss Sarah. Yes. <laughs> and it, nope. It's the best thing ever, I swear. I know it looks funny, but if you can get yourself one of these. Mm -hmm. Start taking out the clips. And I'm going to spray it one more time with the grooming spray. And then go over any flyaways and a little bit of pomade. I like to just do the edge. Just a little feet. I'm Lily. And I'm Sarah, and thank you so much for watching this hair tutorial. Bye! Bye.